Guido. Okay, today's video is gonna be about really learning how to ride twisties, even though we're in a parking lot. If you, like most motorcycle riders, we ride a lot of twisties. A lot. And here in California, yes, we ride a lot. In fact, we just came from a beautiful weekend, which you guys probably saw that video, or going to see it, depending on what it's come out. Right. What we riding. Should we tell them? Yeah. Sonora Pass. Oh, that train gonna make a lot of noise. Yeah. <laughs> But today's video, the pattern you're gonna see, if you cannot take a class, which we would suggest taking a, a cornering class or high level class at a track day to learn how to ride corners and approach corners properly, then this setup today is gonna to be for you. Right. You've seen it before, we use it a lot, and it's easily adjustable. Even though we're in a parking lot and you have to turn your handlebars compared to being on the street, where you have to counter steer, everything remains the same because this pattern forces you to turn your head and look so you can get to the next gate. People train. We live, they got a train. <laughs> Amtrak, California, people yes. going to work. Yes, as I was saying, this pattern forces you to really turn your head. You know, the number one rule of motorcycle is look where you want to go. Exactly. So this forces you to turn your head to get to the next gate. And it's easily adjustable if you want to put speed on it. So we're going to get it set up right quick and just show you exactly what we're talking about mm -hmm. and do a walkthrough. And then we're going to ride through it. And then we're going to do another ride where we show how easy it is to set up in case you want to get a lot more speed going. Right. So let us get set up right quick and then we're going to get started. While Rich is starting setting it up, my setting up the pattern. There's a, a workout that we do called a parking lot workout that we do on a, on a monthly basis whenever we're home. However, even when we're out traveling and we see an empty parking lot, we kind of eyeball it because we don't need cones to practice. If you have a parking lot, you can eyeball. You know how big the roads would be, hey, 20 what you feet, doing? 28 feet. So we practice the U-turns and I'm gonna try to get him to video for it for us and put it up so you can see what our monthly workout looks like. So I'm gonna go over here and help him set up real quick so we can get busy with this. Doing it, your own little video and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get set up. I need your help down there. Come on. Okay, here we're gonna do show you what the measurements are and we have it set up as civilian specs it doesn't matter which direction you start you can set your gate up from anywhere you can start down at the opposite end in fact when we run it we actually run it coming back the opposite way so you start your first cone here and all the way down this line each cone is 30 feet apart and we only using three cones or well, six total first cone second is 30 feet the third one is 30 feet so let's go back to the first one and I'll explain what the outside cones are. These outside cones, the outside cones are 10 feet from the original cones that we set. That represent the curve, the cliffs, the drop off that you need to go in between. Now, we're gonna talk about how it is offset. Go back to this cone, baby. Right here, this is our original cone. And with our original cone, you already know we got 30 feet down here. So from here, all you do is come down 12 feet. Once you get 12 feet, you could drop a marker, and then you can choose to go whatever length you want to go to set your second set of cones up. For us, civilian specs, 24 feet. So my tape measure is here. You walk your tape measure out 24 feet and then you drop your first cone going here for the next 30 feet. So it's exactly the same as the first set that we talked about. You set your second set up, offset by 12 feet and 30 feet apart. And also from here, the cones with the green top on it are 10 feet. Now, if you wanna make it tighter, 
it's easy to adjust. You just bring the 10 feet in as close as you need. Three, six feet, eight feet, it doesn't matter. If you want to ride it faster, you just bring the green cones, the same as over there, out farther. If you want to ride it faster, you bring it out here because right here is representing the cliff, the curve. So from here, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of how I ride it, how you ride it. And I'm going to start from this end. Come on, cake. So as you're approaching your first gate, as you're approaching your first gate, remember, this is twists and turns. It's going like this. If you're riding out in the hills and the mountains, it forces you to look to where you want to go and turn your head back. So as I'm coming here, I'm riding here. The object is not to get close to that cone. The object, now when you want to ride it faster, you're going to get close to the cone, of course. But the object is, this is like the center line and you're going around a corner. So you're coming around a corner and you need to go to the next gate, which is over there. Now point back to me. And so now, instead of going directly to the next gate, instead of going directly to the next gate, you are forced to come around here as if you're making a loop, coming around the corner. And as your bike's facing this way, your, high, your head and eyes should be looking toward the next gate all the way down. So I'm looking this way, now I'm turning in order to make that. Now, as I said back there, the object is not to get closer to this as possible. The object is just get between this because the further you are out here, the easier it is to make that loop as it's if you're riding on the corner. So now I'm just gonna walk through it quick. I just wanna do that little short explanation. I'm gonna walk through it quick, quickly and explain a little bit more. Come back over here. Or you know what, go that, go, go that way. So, that's good. So this is how you ride it. I'm just gonna go through the whole course and then you ride it exactly the same way. Remember, there's no straight lines. This is as if you ride it in the mountain pass, you're looking through the corner, you're looking through the curve and all that stuff. So here we go, I'm riding here. I know I need to go that way so I don't have to look at that cone. I look toward this cone and I got to get toward it. So now I'm going, making my circle in order to get toward that. And then your front tire should be right here. Even if the cone was closer. Yeah, come a little closer. Your front tire should be right here. Even if the cone, even if that green cone was closer, your front tire should be right there. If you choose to go close to that, that's fine. But that's not the goal. The goal is to kind of, so you're going on the outside of a corner, you're looking on the outside, you're coming around, you start to come in. And now I'm headed back toward the first original cone, but my head and eyes just switched. Even though my bike in that direction, it switched to the next cone. So now I'm just riding without talking. Well, I'm gonna talk, but you know. Now I switched, I see my next cone, but I need to make that circle going around here. Even though my bike facing that way, my head is this way, I switch. Come back around, ride that mountain curve, looking through the corner, looking through the corner, looking through the corner, making that big loop, switch back, making that big loop, coming all the way around. Now I got to go through this last one, so I'm almost facing that direction, but my head and eyes are this way, switch back and come and complete it. And then obviously you do it going back the other way. So we're gonna jump on our bikes, get geared up, jump on the bikes and run it a couple of times with a camera over there and maybe a camera on the ground or to the side. We don't know yet. So you ready? Ready. Let's do it. Okay, we're about to run these mountain curves. And then after we do two or three runs, then we're gonna show you how to adjust it so you can actually run sweepers also. Don't forget, next week we're gonna set a different pattern up with the same amount of cones, but this one's gonna be a wild one. So you don't wanna do that, miss that one. So. The green cones represent the edge. And I'm just gonna run this as if I'm doing tight turns in a mountain, turning my head all the way around. Kate gonna follow me so you can actually see when I'm turning my head and when I'm actually shifting the bike weight. Quick transition, nice and smooth. Ready? All right, here we go. The 
first one. Look where I want to go. Quick turn. Head already looking where I want to go. Shifting the bike. All the way around making that circle. Remember, this is mountain curves or switchbacks. So there's nothing straight about this. Then I finish it off right here. I'm going to U-turn and run it back the opposite direction. And nothing changes. Even when I'm doing my U-turns, I do a quick switch back. So here we go. I'm going the opposite direction. Look where I want to go. And I'm going to stop at that last one. Okay, I need you to get closer and to show where my wheel is. Even though I just stopped with my wheel turn, I use my rear brakes only. You have to worry about nothing. And see how my wheel is right here? Even though I could do a tighter one here, this represents the corner coming around the corner. So I'm going to get off the bike, park my bike, and then you go down and do your two runs. Okay, she's mounted up and ready to go. And remember... Hold on, sweetheart. Before, if you go on the outside of this, if you go on the outside, that means you hit the cliff. So this is just representing a corner. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go ahead. I won't be doing any talking, cause concentrate. Okay, go do what you're gonna do. Let's see what you got, let's see what you got. Revs a little high. Yeah, I got my revs up a little high. All right, bring them back down, make that circle. Use your friction zone. Come through it. A little wide on that one too, but. And you completed. The most important thing, you didn't go off a cliff. Completed. You didn't go off a cliff. Now. No, I didn't. Turn do this. Around. Do this for me. Pick the speed up just a little bit. See what you got. Yeah. Show me what you got. I'm going to get out your way. <laughs> Pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. That's a good speed. See, picking the speed up, it forces her to really dip and turn early. Watch how she turn. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. I got to back up. Making that circle. Okay. A little wide. Mm -hmm. We don't. Saw that? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what happened. I, I don't worry about you dropping. I want to know if you know what happened. Tell me what happened. I, I was watching, looking at that cone. Okay, cool. We, I'm going to stop the camera. We're going to pick it up and go run it again. Ooh, I'm like something cracking. You're running faster and doing better up until that point. Yeah. I want you to run it again. Since you dropped your bike, you got to run it again. You went the first time. That was pretty good. Good. Perfect head turn, a little wide. You can make that, you can make that. Oh, I think you're getting camera shy now. Well, you didn't go outside, you're getting gun shy. Let up off the brake, let up off the brake. Let the bike roll, let the momentum take you around. Yeah, you just went off the cliff. Run all the way down and come back the opposite direction. And this is why we do this. We do this in a parking lot, because when she riding, I'm gonna be honest, when she riding, mountain curves oh man it's, it's perfected i think you, i think you dropped last time because i told you to go faster but do you do your speed you want to do it remember the, the quick transition that's what that's it okay are you gonna make that last one that was a kind of sharp one right there are you gonna make this last one are you gonna make this last one you got it now. Now you got to complete it. Complete it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. And go straight. Don't come on the slant. Come straight. Okay. Okay. I was bouncing the brakes a little bit, but that was good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, if you cannot find a course to attend to, find your nice side parking lot, do the offset cone weave, 
then space the cones out a little bit. But make sure you do a valid effort to get them in civilian specs. Then start spacing them out to represent big twisties and turns. Remember, stay tuned for next week's video where we're going to do the four squares or 40 squares or propeller or whatever. Propeller. It's, it's, it's such a, it's a beautiful, beautiful pattern that we found out way back in the day when I was riding a different brand bike. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> a Harley Davidson. <laughs> And when you when you ride in these mountain twisties and turns, take it slow. Just remember what you've done in the parking lot or go take your cornering course. But that's all we have for right now. But y'all ride and remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. For most of these riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Cake. And we out. Peace. Peace. Go get y'all swerve on, people. Get your swerve on. <laughs>